Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. So, um, <clears throat> um, again, I just want to say thank you to all of you who join us every morning for our daily devotions. But particularly, I want to say thank you for those who have been praying for me. I am um, still not 100% yet, but, you know, um, it's getting there. And I'm getting more rest. I'm taking little breaks here and there. So, I just want to say thank you. <clears throat> but today, our um, devotion is entitled, Obedience Matters, and it comes from Matthew five nineteen, And the scripture says, Anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commandments and teaches others accordingly will be called the, be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. See, God doesn't take disobedience lightly. He urges and expects his children to know and obey the scripture. Not only that, he expects us, his children, to teach others to obey and definitely not to lead them away from obeying it. Obeying makes life better. It brings better relationships um, with others and honor to God. It brings self-respect and care for yourself. Those who honor scripture will be honored in heaven. Those who do not and encourage others to disobey will also be answered for that in heaven. So, you know, I mean, God really does want us to follow his commands and, um, and do what the scripture says. And when we don't, we know unwittingly we can lead somebody, um, astray from God's word and we do not ever want to be responsible for leading somebody away from God instead of to God so we must be careful in our everyday life our walk our talk and everything that we do because people do watch us if you're saying you're a Christian they're going to watch to see if your life actually exemplifies Christ so my friends let's make sure that our talk and our walk exemplifies what we know God would want us to do. And so, um, I can't see this morning. <laughs> and so, you know, we just have to be careful what we say and what we do. And this morning, um, you know, I know that in my, throughout my lifetime, I'm guilty of probably leading people away from Christ because I'm sure that I haven't always been 100% on the mark with my actions and my talk. And especially, you know, when I first became a Christian and learning myself, I'm sure, I, you know, I don't do everything right every day. But, you know, God forgives us and we just need to remember that and move on and start over each day and try to do the best that we can. To honor God. So let's pray this morning. Oh Father. I am so sorry for the times my words or actions. Have led people away from you. Instead of to you. Please forgive me. And help me. Help us all to remember. That we need to honor you by following your commands and obeying the scriptures so that we can bring others closer to you and not farther away. Lord, measure my words and deeds so that they bring honor and make sure that whatever I do shows others you. And when people look at me, Lord, please let them see you in me. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. And amen. I wish for you guys a beautiful day today. Um, it's really hot here. We're supposed to be back in the hundreds. Whoops, sorry. We're supposed to be back in the hundreds with 65% humidity. Sorry about that. Cut myself off. <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful, blessed day, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.